nice shirt. That is a beautiful shirt. I think so. It's so, it's a an ancient shirt from Apple. Ancient being the '90s, which really isn't that ancient, but ancient would be more like the '40s. Not if you're a high school student. Hmm. Good point. I see, what, I see what you mean. I see but what then you mean. I'm ancient by those standards. So oh, you, well, that's you're like Methuselah. So this is episode seven. 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 Yeah. <laughs> seven. And this is One, the miracle two, three, episode because we're doing uh-huh. give five at long last. Here we go. Give five. See. Yes. There it is. An actual official chart, which will be available online for sale, for sale somewhere. Yeah. Which and, uh, keep, subscribe to the blog, and you will find out when we figure all that out. Yes, there'll be sheet music. There'll be sheet music available. There's going to be. Uh, uh, we've got some pretty exciting news, which is still top secret mm-hmm. about uh, who's going to do the album cover. We can guarantee, however, that the chart will not look like this because this is the rough draft. Oh, good. <laughs> so, I have a. Is that handwriting? I have a doctor's handwriting. Actually, I do not have illegible handwriting. Hey. I have my own font. Hey. <laughs> Hey, check it out. Let's go. Let's go hand it to a pharmacy and see if we can get some pills. Cool. Yeah. I mean, of course. With I look, they'd be vitamin pills. Uh, I, well, I, I don't. I mean, you know, <laughs> I would just want like pharmacy grade fish oil, because um, you know it's less mercury. Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, I do like the fish oil. Give, My cats like the fish oil. Give five. Yeah. No. Well, yeah. Look, I was about to say something profound. What were, okay. What I, were you I was talking about the artwork. So there's oh, a top, true. yeah, top secret artwork. But anyway, eventually. Uh, so do stay into the blog because there'll be sheet music. There'll be, of course, the actual CD for sale, and then of course there's going to be—I'm uh, sure—we'll do some posters and mugs and oh, yeah. stuff like that with the artwork on there too. And speaking of that, stay tuned as well because we're going to have a competition uh, to you know for some free CDs, uh, autographed even, fully free. We'll and even pay for the shipping and we'll autograph I mean, them. That's right. This is not like quasi-free. Although, you know, given free. my handwriting, you may not want my signature. Well, we'll, we'll get, we'll get, uh, well, oh, I was going to I thought you were in the envelope. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get somebody address, we'll get somebody else to address the envelope. Okay. We'll I'm Jennifer. blind and then you can't write. So, you know, that's, what we'll legibly. Get some, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I can write. Just not legibly. My wife can read it. So is it, I think that's more like empathy. After 30 years, she'd better be able to <laughs> <laughs> Poor Pam. Indeed. Yeah, she has a hard time. All right, so right anyway, anyway, but, but be, be paying close attention to, you know, things that, that uh, are not in the foreground. We have videos. some oddball stuff coming down the pike, as if you have seen any of the other episodes, you know we are not normal. No, not at so all. The, however, the music is really good. Yes. And today we are mixing Give Five, which is... We've, an, which oh, we've often alluded to. Yes, and we it's an oblique reference to Dave Rebeck's Take, Take five. five. Yeah. Um, and what year did that come out, Tom? 59. That's what I thought, too. On so the did, Time Out album. Time Out, that's right. Who wrote it? Uh, I don't know. Paul Desmond. Oh, he wrote that song? Yeah. I thought Brubeck wrote it. No. Oh. Brubeck well, just made it famous. Oh, well, no, he wrote Blue Rondo, right? Yes. Okay, all right. Little little trivia there for you. Okay, so, uh, yeah, but it's a, it's a great album, by the way, if you don't have it, and there's actually a uh, 50-year anniversary collector's CD that has the original album plus a previously unreleased live recording. Well worth And a DVD. Money. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's, it's good. It's very cool. All right. So anyway, so Give Five. Yeah, we we, uh, we said, well, he he uh, he took five, so we'll give five. Because uh, we like give and take. And it's better to give than receive, unless it's the lottery. How biblical of you? Oh, very biblical. Yeah. Uh, my name is biblical. Joseph. So is mine. Means beloved. Yeah, yours means something like run fast you can or something. What is that? <laughs> But anyway, um, so this song is actually, uh, it is in 5-4 most of the time, um, except for one sneaky measure. There is a gratuitous measure of 6-4. Yes, and um, sort of hidden, and, and so maybe you'll, maybe you'll find it. Maybe you can listen for it. But, um, yeah, it definitely is in 5-4, so that's, and that, that's part of Dave Brubeck's uh, reason for his title as well. Right. Uh, so there we're, still, we're definitely playing on that. But this one has... Um, uh, a lot of magic from Tom on piano, um, but it also had a lot of uh, percussion that Tom came up with as well. And and uh, no disrespect to anyone, but usually keyboard players aren't that great at, at percussion. But uh, Tom did some amazing stuff, and I was totally content with it and thought, well, we'll just keep it. You know, this is fine. Uh, and then um, Miguel was in here. Miguel, not from Cuba Castro, uh, was in no here. No relation to the dictator. None whatsoever, or at least none that he'll admit to. Um, so... Um, he, he, you know, he was in here doing something else, and I was like, "Well, let's just let him see what he can do with it." You know, I thought we probably won't use it, but we'll give it a shot. He, what he did just transferred, transformed the whole thing. It was awesome. It's amazing, it really was. and I think you'll really enjoy it. Um, That's once again a now, reason what it, to hire a real drummer on your projects. Do you have written? On the You're chart? welcome, Doctor Reddick. Yeah. 
Do you have written on the chart what the name of the drum that he played? Oh no, because um, he played. I don't know what kind of drum that was. It is. It is, however, in one of the previous videos, which we will eventually post on this blog. Um, was but it the Brazil drum? It was. It was from Brazil and okay. had this funky Portuguese name to it. Yeah, it was really cool. I I, I had not but, seen uh, one before. We will. Uh, you can on YouTube. You can look up Mixture and Joey Stuckey, and we've been posting videos as we shot. Now the videos will not be nearly the quality here because no. they were shot with my little dinky still camera. Right. Um, but you can see some pictures of Miguel actually cutting the tracks that you're you're hearing. You heard on the bumper. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and it's a really neat drum, and he's playing it with. He's playing. Uh, one drum, he's, he's playing a, a one side of it, sort of a high side, and then he's got it all with one hand. Right. And I'm assuming it's his right hand, but I don't know. And then, it, then there's, a, there's a low end of the drum that, that's kind of going just thud, thud, you know, that he's playing with the, with the other hand. So he's, he's getting a real high, uh, articulated, um, uh, you know, sort of improvised, uh, rhythm, almost like a hemiola type thing going on. He's got all kind of interesting rhythmic devices on one hand, and then he's got a very more sort of stable, you know, boom, boom kind of thing going on with the other hand all at the same time. It's pretty neat. Would you like me to summarize that in fewer words? Sure. It's wicked cool. <laughs> Better? Well, no. <laughs> I like my way. What I like, we've, we've done a little bit of, as we're sitting here recording this, we've, we've started Ow, mixing right. it. Bam. Yeah. Um, what well, we've done with man. his, we've got his, we had two mics on that drum, and one of them was close, one of them was way several feet Actually, away. Actually, we had three mics. Three mics? Okay, that's right. There's one on each side. Well, we got close, one, one, and then one all, far away. Well, in, the, in the recording, we've got one all the way left, one of the close ones centered, and then the room one all the way right, and it's just, it's really cool. Um, sound, it's trippy, and man. It's one of those, uh, dude. Uh, <laughs> dude, where's one my of those car? little happy accidents that happen in the when you're mixing. It's like, oh, let's try this. Yeah, and it oh, works. Oh, you know. Now the other person we should probably mention, uh, besides the two of us, that's a guest. Usually there's just three people on each song: Tom and I, and then a percussionist. Uh, but this time we had uh, Doctor Flutalicious. Doctor Flutalicious, or also known as uh, Monty Cole, Doctor Monty Cole over at Mercer, director of jazz studies. Uh, he gave us, I would say, the full Monty, wouldn't you? Uh, <laughs> Not literally. I declined to respond. What, to what I mean by the full Monty, he gave us everything he had. He did that. He did. Yeah, that he did. He played well. So he, you flute know, he, related people. He, Fru flute get related. your mind out of the yeah, gutter. Exactly. So, um, but he, yeah, he plays. He's, he plays sax, amazing. Plays clarinet even better, which is hard to imagine. And then he also plays flute. Of course, he plays guitar and piano and everything else too. But uh, anyway. Um, but it's it's one of those things where he he came in and added a lot to the song with the melody because originally the melody was just guitar, and we just think you know it needs something it needs something it needs something and I said uh, and then all of a sudden, uh, actually what happened was I didn't know Monty played flute, and we did a, a TV show, and uh, he brought his flute. That's right. And, uh, and 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 I said oh my gosh he plays flute I didn't I had no idea, and so now I'm like I now in the back of my mind I go okay he plays flute. And um, he, uh, so we brought him in, and he was fantastic. So, um, and it's a good sound. What mic did you use on him? We actually had two mics. We had close in, uh, close in a room on him as well, and the room mic is just barely mixed in to add a little, a little flavor. But the mic we used on him was the uh, SE2200. It's got um, a really good sound. It's a great sound. Just a mic. touch of spit on it, and but yeah. not a whole lot. And yeah, it was. It, uh, it really, it, it's a good sound. sound. So it turned out really well. It's it's a fun song. It's a fun song. I think everybody will enjoy it. The melody is very much something you can walk around humming. Do you remember uh, how it started? What the melody? No, the song. Oh yes, I do. It, it started off with the ostinato part, yeah. right? Bum, 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 And I jotted it down, and it was in five, so that just started it from there and uh, came up with a groove. And actually, I, I wrote down... What did you write down? Well, the, the groove. Mm, ba, ba, mm, ba, ba, mm, ba, mm, ba, ba. And this is actually the sheet from uh, our writing is session. Is that your original scratch pad? Yeah, that's oh, my original cool. scratch pad. Neat. So, a little bit of history here. We will sell this for a million and a half dollars. Oh, so a make million, the check a million, out a million to... and a quarter. Let's be reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> but that's and no matter how much you spend on it, the, the handwriting will still be illegible. Yeah, but oh, yeah. Oh, you, maybe you could scan it though and do some computer enhancements. I think it's beyond hope. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, hey, what, what happens if you read it backwards? It would say, "Great Kool Aid is best." Really? Yeah, I think so. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm partial to citrus, but anyway, whatever. Um, 
Anyway. But I can't smell you though. But the uh, yeah, the uh, start out with like the ostinato. <laughs> Which which is kind of an interesting See, way. See, you're to, you're uh, talking about the music. I'm, I'm now I'm talking about Kool Aid. I know. All right, thanks for getting me off that. Sorry, come I, back, back, come <laughs> back. Watch <laughs> towards the light. Oh, that won't work for me. Uh, anyway, <laughs> go ahead. You were saying I wasn't actually. <laughs> <laughs> so you said ostinato, ostinato. Yeah. So I mean, just the fact that it started with an ostinato and then the melody kind of flowed. Well, yeah. the ostinato gave us the groove, and the groove gave us the melody. It's it, kind of backwards. That's true. It was interesting how it came out, and and we were just fooling around, and um, and 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 then and I did, now did we did we consciously say we want to do something in five or we didn't? I don't remember. No, your uh, ostinato was in five, and we thought, okay, that's kind of cool. Let's okay, that's run, I can with it. Yeah, because I was fooling around. He said, oh, that's kind of cool, and I thought it is cool, but what can we do with this? I mean, you know. It, it, it's cool, but how's it gonna how's it gonna work? And, and a year and a half later, now we know. Yeah, and it, and it really works out well. And you'll hear it you'll hear it very plainly at the beginning, and because it's pretty much by its lonesome at the very top of the song, mm -hmm. and then it will it will stay there, but it will become a, a part of the whole. It's really interesting how uh, I, I guess I'm trying to say it I don't, well, but what I'm saying is it's interesting how when you first hear it, you think okay, this is gonna be the direction the song takes, and then things start coming in and you realize that you're actually just seeing a very small portion mm -hmm. of what the song's going to be like and the whole melody, you know, it is not really based on that at all. I don't know, how to, I'm not saying it well, but anyway. Well, it, yeah, when it starts out, it feels like, okay, that's going to be the main thing you're going to hear. Yeah. And then it drops back into the background and you get the other stuff, but it's still there. Mm -hmm. And uh, here's your challenge for you. Pick up a copy of it and listen to the ostinato because it subtly changes as the chords change it does. through. It does. And again, so there's, a, there's, a, there's also a bar of six we'd like you to find. Yeah, we dare you. We dare you, absolutely. <laughs> Double dog. Because we uh, we designed it deliberately so that it's not, bam, slap you upside the head. Hey, I'm in six. Yeah, it really doesn't it, feel that way when you're listening. But when, you know, when you're playing to it, it does. Yeah, because so, you've got to go, okay, where is it? Wait, wait, oh, what, yeah. What, what, what? <laughs> But uh, but but when you but when you're when you're listening, it does it really does not feel unusual. It doesn't it doesn't take you out of the space you're in. Right. It just kind of flows and oh, that was nice. Now, is there anything else about Take Five you want to share? I think that was it. I, that covers it for yeah. me. So um, the again the album is Mixture. Yes. Watch this space. Subscribe to it. Uh, Joey has a newsletter. JoeyStuckey.com. Yes. And uh, the Mixture cast is at JoeyStuckey.blogspot.com. By the way, that's J O E Y S T U C K E Y. Oh, does somebody not spell that correctly? Well, I'm figuring, you know, some people yeah. not, might it's, not. Yeah, it's just like my cousin owns the Stucky stores, so it's the same uh, same name. Yeah. We get a lot of pecan logs for Christmas, which is a good thing. That's just nuts. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> bye. Bye, y'all.